This video is inspired by common visualizations, uh, like what you can see in the view, whereby we have a simple bar chart showing uh, values for different uh, countries in Africa. And as you can see, at the end of these bars, we've added some icons, in this case, flag icons uh, for the different uh, countries. So basically, uh, this is one way uh, you can be able to add icons uh, to your visits, uh, simply to communicate uh, your data insights. And as you can see, for this case, these particular icons have been added to the end of the bar. And therefore, in this case, what we want to see uh, is how can we be able to add these particular icons at the beginning of the bar instead of having them at the end of the bar. But even before we demonstrate that, let's first of all show you how you can be able to add these particular icons at the end of the bar. And to do that, first of all, you need to download the icons. And to do that, you can go to a site called uh, flat icons. So this is the site called flat icon. And from here you can search all the different icons that you want to uh, use within your view. So for example, here you can search for country flags and download them uh, to your machine. So you can see them here and you download them to your machine. And what to do uh, is you save them into the tablet repository. So you come to documents, uh, my tablet repository. Then from here, you can go to shapes and you can create a folder and save your icons there. So for my case, what I've done, I've downloaded the flags for Comesa countries. So you can see we have this folder called uh, Comesa flags and you can see the various uh, flags within this particular folder. And now by doing that, you will be able to pull these particular icons within the Tableau. And therefore, let's go to Tableau and see, first of all, how we can display these icons at the end of the bar. And to do that, let me create a new view. And I'm going to drag the country to the rows and values to the columns. Let me sort in descending order. And now to create this view, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to duplicate uh, the sum of values. So I'm going to hold down control key on the keyboard and drag sum of values here. And I'm going to change this one to a dual axis. And of course, I'm going to synchronize the axis to make them uh, equal. Let me change the first bar, sum of values to a bar. And the second one, I'm going to change it to a shape and what I'll do, I'll drag this country to the shape. And from here, I can be able to uh, select the various uh, flags. You can see already for this case, they appear to be selected. And the reason is because I had already created another view where I've already selected the, the flags. However, for your case, you're going to see some um, different uh, icons and shapes. And you can be able to assign the correct uh, icons by simply coming here, go to edit shape. And from here, you're going to select the folder where you've saved the, the flags. In this case, uh, for my case, it's commercial flags. And basically to assign the flags, select uh, the icon on this side, for example, Burudi, and match it to the correct flag and do that for the rest of the uh, countries and click OK. And by doing that, you're going to add that particular icon at the end of the uh, of the bar chart. So let me expand this one a little bit. And probably I can make the shapes, that is the second chart, uh, a little bit larger. And basically that's how you can add the icons at the end of these bar charts. However, for this class, that was not the main interest. Uh, the main goal of this class is to see how we can add these icons at the start of the bar chart. And to do that, let me go to a new worksheet and I'm going to drag again country to the rows and values to the columns. Let me sort in descending order. And as you can see, we have a simple bar chart. And now for this case, what we want to do, we want to add these country flags uh, between the dimension names, that's the country names, 
and the bar, which means we're going to add it between zero and probably negative something. So that's where we want to place those uh, flags or just in other icons. And to do that, what you're going to do, you're going to create a calculated field which will return a value that lies between uh, zero and negative something. And to ensure that we maintain a uniform space between uh, the bars and these icons, what you're going to do, I'm going to create a calculated field which will return uh, the Windows average of this particular data here. So let me just call it a uh, placeholder. And the contents of this calculation will be Windows average of the sum of values. So this calculation will return a value which lies between the mean two of this particular axis or rather this view. So let's say it's going to lie uh, between somewhere here at the mean two. And now what you're going to do, we're going to divide this particular distance between zero and where we have our Windows average uh, maybe uh, into eight times, that is what you call a half. And to do that, I'm simply going to multiply by one zero point, let's say zero point one to five, because this is simply a half. And I need this value to be on the other side, that is on the negative side. So I'm going to set it to be negative a half so that we can maintain uh, the same distance between these buttons and our flags even when the data updates. And now since we've created our placeholder, which is going to hold uh, the different icons, let's add it to the view. So I'm going to drag it here and let's make it uh, do axis and synchronize uh, this axis. Let me change the sum of values, the first chart to a bar. And the second one, let me change it to a uh, shape. And I'm going to drag the country flags to here. Let me remove some of uh, the measure names from color. And here you can be able to see the different flags, which we placed them between the, uh, the country names and the buttons. If in case you can't see the, uh, the flags themselves, you can simply come here and reassign, go to edit shapes, and you can go to the folder where you've saved the flags and try to reassign the flags or the icons accordingly. And that way you're going to add the different flags within the view. Let me expand my view a little bit and also try to increase the size of these icons, the flags icons. And of course, I can remove all the unnecessary marks like the axis. I don't need to show the axis. And probably I can label the view that is the bar chart by dragging some of values to label. And that way I've added uh, the country uh, flags or it could be just another icon before the bar chart. And basically that's how you can be able to place those uh, country flags and not just the country flags, but also any other shapes and icons that you may want to place before uh, your bar charts in Tableau. Thanks, everyone.